Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for clicking on the video. This is David Pendleton again, and now I'm covering holes number four, five, and six of the Origami Nine Hole Cup Tournament. I do pick up all drops on these three holes. So that means hole in one on hole number four, eagle on hole number five, and pick up that albatross there on hole number six. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you find my videos helpful. Hopefully they're helpful enough for everybody to hit that subscribe button. And it'd be really nice if everybody took a half a second there to hit that thumbs up button. Believe it or not, it does help people uh, that create content on YouTube. So hole number four is zero percent mid. Pretty easy shot here to set up. Uh, we're gonna go, what's that, about 2.8 back. And then I'm gonna put my red ring right around the rough line. And you see, I got my ball guideline just aiming right down almost the center of where the light green and the dark green rows touch. Maybe just a fraction um, on that far right hand side of that dark green row. This is a pretty good line to get the hole in one. Doesn't mean it's gonna drop for everybody. We do have a little bit of a hill here, which gives us a little bit of a weird roll sometimes. Uh, obviously, this being our first time playing this shot because of the whole location, a modifier, but, you know, it's nice to be getting a lot of drops here, but this ball does come in nicely, sneaks into the right-hand side of the cup, so keep that in mind. If you get a little bit higher wind, you might, you might need to move your target over a tad to the left, okay? Always keep that in mind when you're watching these replays. Uh, take a look at my wind. If you get hit with strong wind or even really low wind, you'll know where to adjust. But a hole-in-one nonetheless. All right, we're going to go here to hole number four, or five, sorry. Hole number five. I do pick up the eagle, like I said. But we got to talk about this one for a second because this is not going to be uh, the easiest shot, I should say, to set up for hole or for shot number two. Uh, the reason being is you need to get enough yards on the drive in order to get yourself in backbone range. I guess you could use the Goliath if you wanted to for shot number two. Some of you might need to, but um, obviously my replay here is going to be at the backbone. Now, I hit this uh, eagle three times with a backbone, but unfortunately one time I was caught in between clubs. So uh, you have to get enough yards on the drive to get in – to get in back's backbone range, but you can't get so many yards on the drive that you accidentally roll into the rough at the top there. So you see here, I went with six top, one bar of side spin to the right. I set up at the plus three yard mark with my orange ring on the right hand side of the rough there. I'm not overpowering this shot. I do hit a perfect ball. Okay, it wouldn't kill us to get a little further up on the fairway, so maybe a Tata OP would be okay. But again, you have to be very careful because look at this. Look how close I am to getting caught in between clubs. And I did um, go backspin here, so a little bit more than three back. And you saw there just a little bit of left side spin to counter the wind push. You'll, see, you'll get a good look at my aim spot right there. I'll kind of freeze it right there so you can see exactly where I'm aiming. I did this exact same spin uh, setup in every wind scenario. So I had a wind at 4.1, 3.6, and 3.2, as you see here. Perfect ball, and it comes in really nice into the hole, almost dead center there for the eagle. All right, now that will take us into the next hole, which is hole number six. I do pick up the albatross here, Titan ball, four and a half top, two bars a side spin to the right. Yes, uh, keep it only at four and a half top because if you get too many yards on the drive, you will not be in sniper range anymore. And it is a much more difficult shot due to the headwind on shot two uh, with your Goliath or even getting caught in between clubs. Okay, so four and a half top. Take a look there where I set up on the drive. Just try to mimic all my landing spots. Perfect ball, and we shoot this one up the fairway pretty nicely. Shot number two, I did decide to play at maximum distance, even though we're not at maximum distance. Pretty much every single shot in this rookie division so far, I've been able to play 0% at mid. Now, I did have somebody um, make a comment um, and I thought that maybe this would be a good example to address it. So I am playing a lot of rookie shots, 0%, but 
just to keep everything nice and easy for everybody. This is very low wind in rookie division. Um, sometimes you need to understand that, like on a shot like this, I could have just played this 10 or 15% at mid. We are at mid distance of our club. There's two things you can do when it comes in this game to adjusting for rings, okay? Uh, you can use elevation. All elevation does is it manipulates how many rings that you're going to pull, right? So in this example, I could have played 10 or 15 percent um, at mid distance. All right, so let's let's get out our notebook app here. So we have a power three ball. All right, 15 percent at mid would be 4.5 rings. 10 percent at mid would be 4.3 rings. All right. I played this one 0% at max, okay, which is basically almost the same thing at playing this one 10 to 15% at mid. Um, so, you know, what's more, what's easier for people just to go 0% at max here if we get around the same yards or have people play 10 to 15% at mid um, and then figure it out for there. I mean, at the end of the day, we're just going to be pulling 4.4 rings here. Um, so, you know, that's, that's just what I decided to do. Not every single shot in this game needs elevation, especially in rookie mode. Yes, pro will be, uh, probably where you start playing a lot of elevated shots, anywhere from 5% of common up to 20, and sometimes some holes a lot larger, but here, you know, this is just a way to just trick the game. Like I said, that's, that's all you're doing. I, mean, I hope that makes sense, what I just described. But this is, you know, almost the highest wind you can get in Rookie, and you see we dropped this thing dead center for the Albatross. Um, so that's it. That's holes number four, five, and six. Like I said, all drop shots. Hope you're crushing this tournament. We'd love to hear how you do. Thanks, everybody.